Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Deadhead Dark Chocolate Rum. This is a 35% ABV. And while there's no H theme on the bottle, going to the website tells us it's a five-year-old Mexican rum. Now, the interesting thing here is not only is it infused with cacao, it also is aged in American oak and Chiapas oak as well. I hope I pronounced that right. I listened to it a half a dozen times. And I picked this up uh, when I was on vacation a few months back and it was just, a, you can't say no to a monkey head. Okay, I think that's one of the golden rules. Like, I love interesting bottles. This is the most interesting bottle I could find. It's just so crazy looking. So I had to get it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I just can't get over the bottle. Now, I will be doing their standard rum. And I'm tempted on getting, they have a 10-year-old aged rum that's recently came out. I'm considering getting that. I haven't decided yet, though. It's kind of expensive. But uh, either way, enough on that. We will be, uh, I'll be linking some reviews to some other rums along with the Deadhead one when it's live up, up above and down below. But for now, we're going to be trying this two different ways. Going neat, no ice, no water first round and second round. If I can get the cork out. Oh my gosh. There we go. Wow, I had to put some oomph into that. We're going to be adding a few drops of water in there. See what changes up. As much as I love this bottle, it is... I don't think there's a... I don't know a right way to pour out of this thing. Okay, that wasn't too bad. One for one. We'll see how that goes here. I'm not even going to put the cap in there because that was a pain to get out. Beautiful, beautiful color there. Who... I don't know if there's any coloring added. You know, five years. Kind of young for a rum, depending on who you are and what you drink. Um, kind of a golden brown color going on here. So uh, let's go for notes. Oh, mouth is salivating already. Cream soda right from the get-go. You also do get a bit of that chocolate note in there. Um, like a... You get those spices, the rum... Standard rum spices, your clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, those kind of spices. But it's almost like if you've ever had it, um, the Mexican hot chocolate note. Um, it, I can't think of the brand's name off the top of my head. And I, I, we, we drink it from time to time. It's, it comes in the bricks and you cut it up and you melt it down. Uh, I love drinking that stuff. But you get kind of that shaved dark chocolate note in there. Very light. But the cream, vanilla cream soda is coming right to the forefront. No ABV on the nose. And coming at a 35%, kind of like the Bamboo original. Normal rums for US are marked at 40% for them to be deemed a rum. Um, so they actually call this a... Or is it at rum infused with organic cacao? So I'm assuming they have to name it that specifically, kind of by the TTB on how they label other things. Would be my guess. Okay, let's go for taste. Mm. Oh. Mm. That is so damn good. It is sweet. You get that that sugary sweetness right from the get-go. Like that cream soda note really just overpowers things. But as that starts to mellow out, you're left with this, that bit of spice in there. Almost, I, I, it's, it's a different, almost earthy quality to it, but sharper. I don't know what that note is, but it's got a like an earthy sharpness to it. And then you get this just nice, light, dark chocolate, very light, dark chocolate note in there. It's got a, a slight metallic aftertaste, and I think that might be what's messing with my, my palate at the moment. It's got a bit of that aftertaste of a metallic note. 
Mm. But that's so damn good still. Even with that metallic note in there. That dark chocolate, it, came, it just came back even more that time. It's so... It's rich. It's earthy. It's, it's, it's like eating a 70%, 80% dark chocolate. Break it off and you get that kind of earthy bite from it. But that cream soda note is helping balance that out a bit. It's got just a nice light vanilla going on. Sugary sweetness though. Again, if you're not big into sweet, may not be for you on that one. But that sweetness helps cut that, that dark chocolate note that you're getting. It, again, it's got this, I'm not gonna say it's off-putting, but I don't know if it's more earthy or metallic. It's just got kind of an off flavor on that spot there. But even with that, the leading up flavors are really stinking good. Uh, it, it vaguely, like, it starts reminding me of the bamboo rum, but uh, the thing that pulls it away is that dark chocolate. So I start going, oh, there's some similar notes, and then all of a sudden it throws me across the room. But it's super, super good. So if you could, if that metallic note could go away, yeah, yeah, this would be pretty damn good stuff. Again, this bottle. <laughs> it's actually not as bad as it looks, but it's not easy. Let's see if I can get the cork back in there now. See, good thing I didn't put that cork back in there. Oh my gosh. That is sealed. It ain't going anywhere. Just add some water. See how it changes up. I'm going to guess, but we'll, I'm going to keep it to myself for the moment. Yeah. So, beans that's already at a 35%, I ex expected what would happen is that it would go more flat. And it has. You still get that bit of vanilla cream note, but it's dialed back. You get a bit of the spices, but they're dialed back. The dark chocolate note really is not showing up quite as much. It's there, but it's really behind things at the moment. Yeah. Well, let's go for taste. Pulls back on that ABV a little bit. I'm, see I'm waiting to see if that metallic taste went away or not. It dialed back on that metallic taste a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it did, actually. It's still there, but it's not as strong. But the unfortunate thing is you do lose some of those other characteristics. It's gotten a little... It's balanced out that sweetness factor from that cream soda vanilla note. But the... That dark chocolate notes, not as strong. But the other sides of that is... It almost leaves the mouth a little drier, it feels. I'm going to have to say that metallic note kind of pulls away a little bit more. Yeah. That is really good. It's still there lightly, but it's nothing like what it was. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. It's not too bad. I can see why that would be really good as more of a dessert rum. And again, putting it on the rocks, I think would be really good for this one. So let's talk about market price. Cause as we all know, market price is market price. I was able to pick this up for $42. And I don't think that's a bad price. It's, you look, um, it's got some interesting notes to it. That metallic taste is a little off-putting just a little bit, but I can get by it without much problems. You're, this is a statement piece up on a shelf. You, you, I'm going to say you're paying a bit for the bottle on this one. And there's some of them, I don't know if it was their first round of bottles or newer ones, but they have like the um, thread coming off the eyes as though it's stitched and things like that. Like this is, you put this on a shelf, people are going to go, what the hell is that? 
So yes, I'm gonna assume you're paying a bit for the bottle. It's a chunky boy bottle. It is a heavy duty bottle here. Um, I think it's good flavors. I think it's a good representation of a Mexican rum. That dark chocolate note is fun. I would love to see this come up to a 40% or more to see how that changes. I don't know if they ever plan on doing something like that, uh, but I have to say that it's decent. Obviously, I've seen it online going for like $60 plus. I've seen it go as low as $35 online. It's all over the market on there, uh, but I was able to pick this up when I was in Ohio for 42. So yeah, I don't think it's a bad buy, um, but yeah, there you have it. Deadhead Dark Chocolate Rum. If you have any questions about the bottle, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any specific spirits you would like me to review, also let me know down in the comment section as well. I'm always on the hunt for something new and different and exciting. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.